everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at some entitled idiots reviewing the seven wonders of the world. Yes, hello. I would like to speak to the manager of the Great Pyramids. Thank you. No beer at the Chichen Itza. <laughs> One star, not worth it. I booked through my cruise. They said they would feed us on the excursion, so I expected authentic Mexican food like they provided in Jamaica on that long excursion. But nope, they handed us ham and cheese sandwiches at 8 a.m. It came with chips and a banana and juice, but it was 90 degrees that day with no way to keep it cold. So by lunchtime, I didn't dare eat the sandwich. The tour guide on the bus was rude to me and not funny. In fact, he made the bus ride longer with his monotone, unfunny dialogue. The radio thing they gave us to listen to is to the guide on the tour, stopped working halfway. They were supposed to offer a soda or beer on the ride back, but they didn't offer beer at all. I know that this is Mexico, but I'm still not sure if that's legal. You know, like drinking in a vehicle. Vendors kept shoving things in my face. Yeah, they do that. And following me to try to sell me things to the point of harassment. And the overall experience was awful. The sights were okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the people made it so terrible, I will never return to Mexico again. It was not worth the money. People said it's because it's a poor country, but so is Jamaica, and Jamaica was nothing like this. Jamaica was wonderful, Mexico was terrible. I love how this person is basing their one experience of Mexico on, like, one of the most popular tourist sites in the world. Do y'all know what Chichen Itza is? The sites were okay. It's literally a pyramid. Several pyramids, I believe. An ancient city in Mexico. One's home to 35,000 people. It was just okay. This guy's more concerned about the beer than the Chichen Itza. You know what I'm saying? And as someone who goes to Mexico almost every year, Mexico is awesome. Okay, we love Mexico in this house. Great place, great people. Don't base an entire country on a few vendors that are at one of the most popular tourist sites in the country and not having beer on the ride. Also, if you uh, wanted local Mexican food, I bet you anything there's a taco truck you could buy a taco at for like 35 cents. The Coliseum, one star. Stunning sight to see. It was good. <laughs> the guide was confusing, mainly because I don't know how to speak Italian. But the room was great, especially I was threw into a cell for stealing an old gladiator armor. So wait, you're mad because the tour guide was Italian. You know you're like in Rome, right? Like Italy? <laughs> the Colosseum, one star, boring. Most overrated building in the world. I really don't see what the big deal is. <laughs> There are many more impressive stadiums of the ancient world that are almost still intact, but being big doesn't make it better. It is a ruined mess. Yeah, cause it's like still, those rocks are still there from like thousands of years ago. I much prefer the other, much better preserved stadiums and theaters. We'll go there then. <coughs> the Great Wall of China, one star, shambles. <laughs> this was terrible, it's too old. <laughs> It looks like shambles. This needs to be at least 100 characters, so I wrote this. <laughs> the audacity of the Great Wall of China being thousands of years old. Can't you guys renovate? For the record, it is rather old. I once fainted on the Great Wall of China. Not a joke, actually. That actually happened. I was very dehydrated and sick and hot, and the steps are so big and sunken because of the thousands and thousands of years and millions and millions of people that have stepped on them. So it's basically like hiking up a gigantic mountain of stairs, at least where I was on the Great Wall of China. It is a rather large structure, so large that you can see it from space. No big deal, kind of in shambles anyway. And then I, I fainted. I fainted and I had to be taken into a shaded area area where I was fed red bean popsicles to get my blood sugar up. I still liked it though. Not even fainting could make me respect the Great Wall of China less. The Great Pyramids, much too sandy. <laughs> where do you think you are? I was excited to see the pyramids, but upon arriving, I was shocked to see so much sand. <laughs> covering the ground and surrounding area. Now, I was under the impression that they would clear this sand. Oh, were you? Really? And what happens when more sand comes? You know, inevitably by like sandstorms, those happen, you know? I was under the impression they would clear this sand to make way for us, but they did no such thing. <laughs> Instead, we had to walk through the hot sand and it got all over me, ruining my new dress. Horrible customer service, do not recommend. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Does anyone know the manager of the Great Pyramids? Paula has a complaint. I think you might want to take it up with with uh with some some Egyptian pharaohs. Oh, but they're dead. Sorry. They've been dead for a while now. You know, ancient Egypt. Horrible customer service. <laughs> the pyramids are a dirty place full of tourists and people who hate America. One star. If you're looking to visit Egypt and the pyramids, my advice is don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's too touristy and crowded now, and it's just a dirty, crappy country full of folks who hate America and hate our freedom. Biggest disappointment of my life, avoid at all costs. Dang, you're like super hard to impress, eh? You know they still don't know how they built the pyramids? Like, it's a complete mystery. No one gets it. They have hypotheses, but again, they are rather old. <laughs> The pyramids, not the hypotheses. If you think, if you don't like the pyramids, imagine how it would have felt to build them. Imagine like a slave complaining. There's too much sand, I won't build it. No, no, keep building. One star, all right, the Great Wall of China. It's long, but so is the M6, and that goes on for miles. <laughs> At least you can drive on that and it does the job. It's not a great wall, it's an all right wall. <laughs> it is the all right wall of China. <laughs> the all right wall of China. You should tell them to rebrand. Vendor, never thirsty in Petra site near treasury. Do not purchase from this vendor, one star. The necklaces are defective and poorly made. Once you open the two small bags, the blue beads are uneven, tied together with thread like dental floss. This is a bait and switch situation. We were overcharged. The thing is, is I get being frustrated about the scams that go on. There's for sure a lot of them. You know, there's the guys that put the bracelets on you. There's people that pickpocket. It is a little bit of a sketchy place, but you gotta have your wits about you. You know what I'm saying? My parents bought an amazing like trinket from Petra when they went there. Honestly, Petra is like top of my bucket list. Would love to see that. But imagine your entire experience of Petra being ruined because you bought a, a necklace. Your necklace has nothing to do with Petra. Machu Picchu, one star, most overrated place on earth. Uh. Earth. Founded in 1470, you can only see stones. Literally nothing else. Not a statue, a painting, a ceiling, a mosaic, a floor, a writing, nothing. It has been founded in 1470, so not so long ago. The place is a ripoff for tourists, but even so, it is overcrowded. I heard it's a amazing. I heard it's actually a very, very incredible place. Especially like the Rainbow Valley. Ah, right, let me show you something. Imagine a valley that looks like a rainbow. You don't have to imagine it. I have it right here. Dang, some of y'all are really hard to impress. London's Natural History Museum. Not for vegans. <laughs> Full of dead animals. You can't enjoy looking at stuffed, dyed animals. We came in and my son immediately asked to go. We couldn't stand it. <laughs> For the record, for all of you vegans out there, the Natural History Museum is not vegan. Nobody's asking you to eat it. <laughs> The Grand Canyon, one star, very disappointing, five hour drive for a hole in the ground. <laughs> Expected to see the Colorado River and nothing. I have nothing to say to you, Adrian. <laughs> Sorry, the earth eroded in a way that does not impress you. <laughs> Can I call the manager of the earth? Yellowstone National Park. Better off looking at a spout from your elementary school water fountain. When I was a kid, my dad found it boring and I found it boring. I had to go again as an adult to see that I still find it boring. It's such a long drive to get there and you have to park so far away. Oh, poor you. Poor, poor you. River Birch, 1967. Iceland, no show. A cold and damp two hours waiting for gases in the upper atmosphere to be ionized. No toilet, no food or drink. You would think a big company like this could control the elements. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you'd think so, yeah, yeah. It is hit and miss. We were just unlucky. Haven't y'all big corporations figured out how to control weather and sunshine? Ugh, I want my money back. Loch Ness, Scotland. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna be a little upset about this one because I love Nessie. Someone sent me a Nessie. She hangs out right here. Quite possibly the single most overrated tourista thing in Scotland. Whether Nessie exists or not, excuse me, Nessie exists. Ugh, 
And I'd like to believe he slash she does. At least you didn't assume Nessie's gender. You really only get to see two things here. One, yet another old gray lock. Two, stupendously overdone marketing of a dubious life form. If I were Yeti, I'd be jealous. Where are my plushies? Maybe Nessie just didn't show up because she didn't like you. You sound like you're not very much fun. If I were Nessie, I wouldn't want to see you either. Hollywood, here we come. Pompeii reminded me of a Hollywood film set, considering it was covered with volcanic ash. It looks far too handmade to have happened naturally. Our guide said it was rather quiet, however. I considered several 100 people rather busy. The cost of our visit did not include entry, so with that and the coach from Amalfi, plus lunch came to over 100 euros for a morning's visit. Oh, and don't forget the gift shop on the way out. So you're saying that Pompeii, like, isn't real? Oh, righty then. Big complaints about the Taj Mahal. One star, it's all right. My review is based not on the building and structure. Yes, it was built by a silly king for a wife that he loved, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> on the love stuff of yesteryears. It was breathtaking for a minute and then I could smell BO, urine, etc., etc., on the outskirts of the building. Hordes of people milling around and it didn't look organized. Disposable slippers were thrown everywhere. For all the money they are collecting, I was shocked at how bad a small town like Agra looked. The Taj Mahal committee should <laughs> should have ensured that his subjects all around that area is upgraded, educated, and comfortable in every sense. Toilets, ugh, is another story. You know you're like in India, right? Where there's like a caste system. Not everybody has a self-flushing toilet. The Taj Mahal is too small. <laughs> One star looks better in pictures. We visited here from Delhi and were honestly disappointed. The building was not as big or elaborate as we thought. There were lots of people making viewing difficult. The actual tombs are below ground, so you're only looking at copies of the tombs. And the other visitors were disrespectful by taking pictures, etc. Despite notices saying not to. Agra itself looked a little rough around the edges. We opted to pay extra to go on the toll road slash motorway, which was almost deserted and the journey still took three and a half hours each way. You know, I would love to see the Taj Mahal. Reading these is like, you can have your opinions about certain areas of the world that you visit. Sometimes pictures make places look far more elaborate and amazing than they actually are. But to like write a review, at least be grateful that you went. Do you know how many people would love to visit the Taj Mahal? As someone who loves to travel, mind your business, look at it, take it in. You know, nothing about these reviews really fazed me. I still want to go. <laughs> Subscribe!